Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So uh, this video is uh, the continuation of our previous video. So those who are new to the channel are watching this video for the very first time. They are directed to watch our previous video because this video is the continuation of our previous video. In the previous video, we uh, discussed how to model the geometry and uh, we discussed the problem statement uh, and uh, we created boreholes and then we assigned the material properties like uh, here you can see this problem we uh, modeled in the previous uh, video now in this video we'll uh, we'll continue this video uh, by uh, defining the tunnel uh, using NATM technique so uh, let's start this video So, firstly, you know, we have to define the tunnel here. So, I'll go to structures and here you can see create tunnel. So, tunnel will be created at the coordinates of 0, 16 here. I will click and this dialog box will open. Now, I will not change any default uh, setting here because shape type is free then I will move towards segments. Now in segments, firstly, I will have to click the add. Uh, so because uh, this will be uh, created in, uh, the tunnel will be created in segments. So firstly, uh, I'll have to select this type to arc. So here you can also see the whole procedure to define the tunnel like in the structures mode click the create tunnel button in the slide toolbar so these notes are given in the description you can uh, you can uh, download these document or handouts to uh, practice this problem so i'll be uh, practicing or uh, applying these information to the to the Pluxis uh, software simulation so firstly select arc and now the radius is 10.4 and the angle is 22 degree so first segment is defined now now i will have to add another segment we'll change the line type to the arc and we'll have to define the radius of another segment that is 2.4 that is given in the handouts as well and then the angle is 47 for the uh, second segment. You can see the progress here. Now I'll have to define the next segment. And again, I will have to select this line to the arc. And then here, the, the radius for this segment is 5.8 meter. And then the angle is 50 degree. Angle is 50 degree now the next step is here you can see uh, the extent to the symmetry axis now it has been extended to the symmetric axis now we can apply the command symmetric close uh, because the right side and left side is equal in dimensions and angles so that is why uh, symmetric close here I will click and it will be closed like this so segment portion is now completed now I will move towards the subsections. So for the subsection again, I will add, click add. Now I will draw an offset. What I want to do is, I want to create a separation uh, between the upper cluster here. Uh, like here, I want to create a separation between upper cluster and lower cluster. So for that purpose, I have to define subsection. So I will uh, make an offset of 3 meter and here I will select the line to the arc you can see here and now here I will put the radius of 11 meter and angle 360 degree. So now what I will do is the next step is I will select this point select multiple objects like this and will apply the command of intersect so that it should intersect like that now i have to delete this portion that is outside the boundary of the tunnel because the purpose to create uh, was that uh, i need this suppression line 
so this these all the uh, lines will have to be deleted so for that purpose i will click this uh, point select click over here and simply uh, you can click this point delete and now the tunnel has been defined so this is how uh, we can define the tunnel in uh, in uh, Fluxis 2016 version so in the next step we'll have to uh, proceed towards the properties so in the properties now uh, I will have to select all these entities all the geometry right click here right click create plates now the plates have been created why I have uh, I'm doing this because I, in NATM as I explained uh, in the previous video that uh, the purpose of uh, the NATM is to provide a temporary lining so temporary lining uh, uh, lining is provided by a uh, concrete uh, material so for concrete material we simulate the concrete material or concrete structures uh, with plate elements in the pluxes then we provide the stiffness and flexible rigidity of concrete to, uh, to these plates so that is why I have uh, created this uh, these plates now I will press Control M to define the properties now I have to define the properties of plates so concrete lining basically and now new and here I will click lining lining the title and now I will have to put the values of stiffness the properties are given here here 6 into 10 raised to power 6 is the stiffness 6 e simply click e and 6 so this means 6 into 10 raised to power 6 you can uh, put the value like this as well now the next step is to add the flexural rigidity you can see here flexural rigidity is 2 into 10 raised to power 4 so i can add this 2 e 4 means 2 into 10 raised to power Four. the weight is 5 kilonewton per meter per length per unit length 0.15 is the Poisson's ratio and click OK now the lining uh, has been defined click OK here material properties I will click this and okay now the properties uh, to the plate element uh, uh, have been assigned so uh, in the next step we have to provide the negative interface why negative interface because we want to provide the interface here only so what I will do is select So, so I will select this point, this point, this point, press click, uh, control and then click these plate elements like this and then right click create negative interface I have explained the detail regarding the interfaces the negative and positive interface don't have any uh, meaning physical uh, they just have physical appearance so you can see uh, the interface has been provided on the outside so now uh, the next step is to uh, generate the mesh but uh, this is how we have defined our tunnel now generate and close so you can see the uh, tunnel uh, has been defined in the geometry in the next step we have to generate the meshes click here and here you can see generate mesh medium ok now the mesh generation is completed 
Now you can view the mesh from here. So it may take times, some time. So here you can see the mesh generation. Now you will have to click close and now we have to move towards the uh, cal calculation so I will click the state construction so for initial phase I will double click here and in this case we don't have horizontal layers of the soil so that is why we will select gravity loading so gravity loading is selected you can see the description here initial stresses from finite element calculation to be used in non horizontal layers so that is why I have selected gravity loading so it's okay now we'll have to add another phase so double click over this and just uh, according to beta method i have to uh, apply 0.6 value or 60 percent uh, because according to beta method 1 minus 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.4 value beta value because some of the portion will be excavated in this phase. Now in this phase one, okay, I will have to excavate this portion. So I will click this, click here, right click and deactivate. What does it mean? The, uh, it means that this portion has been excavated now. So according to beta method, that is why we applied 60% uh, value. Now we have to define the next phase double click over the second phase now click ok you can change the title of uh, phase 2 you can say apply the uh, lining over the partial excavation or whatever ok now I have to select this portion I have to activate it basically now uh, in stage construction so uh, I have to uh, activate it basically like right click and activate so this portion will have to be deactivated so in this way uh, by activating these uh, lining element means we have applied the uh, lining over here after excavating this portion in phase 2 because it's a stage construction so now we'll have to define the next phase double click over here now again for because this phase is uh, related to the excavation of remaining part so that is why according to beta method we have to apply 0.6 value click ok click this click here right click and deactivate this portion now it means this portion has been excavated now uh, now add another phase in phase 4 what we have to do is click OK. We have to apply a concrete lining or we have to activate the plate elements to the remaining part. So press Ctrl, click over here, click the remaining portions like this. Right click and activate. So this portion is basically deactivated. So now the uh, calculation phase uh, phases have been uh, completed now we'll have to define the points for the curves before starting the uh, before running the calculation basically so just here I'll have to define first point over here crest of the tunnel geometry here and here you can define the points like this okay update and run the calculation calculate now the calculation process is started after the completion of the calculation we'll inspect the calculation results
so the calculation uh, procedure is completed now view the calculation results so here uh, we can see some displacement over here now we can add, we can uh, inspect different uh, results here uh, let's inspect the uh, bending moment of the the plate elements or concrete lining click this point drag select plate view and uh, from forces we can inspect the bending moment like this you can see the results so you can inspect the values from the bending moment uh, here the maximum value and the minimum value uh, bending moment values are basically used for the analysis and design purpose as well so you can see where the maximum displacement uh, bending moment is and where the minimum is so also you can inspect the axial forces you can inspect the axial forces maximum value is this minimum value is this you can inspect the uh, total displacement in uh, y direction in uh, deformation in x direction and so on you can inspect too, um, uh, too many detail from these results so i hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe so uh, thank you and uh, allah hafiz